Connect Forth feature. Hello, I'm Erin Lee, and welcome to Connect Forth. Today, we are going to be talking about the topic of body image. Even though many feel this topic has been exhausted, it's never really been studied in depth. So, here goes. Body image. What is it? It's a perception a person has on their body and their thoughts and feelings as a result of that particular perception. These feelings can be positive, negative or both and are influenced by individual environmental factors. What makes us feel acceptable in society? And why do we all feel socially swayed in what looks acceptable and what doesn't by the media? Even though it's a well-known subject, many people don't really know much about it. Not many people realise that they judge themselves the way they look all the time and they constantly compare themselves to others. Today, we're going to offer you an insight why we believe comparing yourself to others is wrong and why everyone should have confidence in the way they look. We will be also interviewing Leah Shanks, body confidence blogger, on her views on the topic. I carried out a few interviews to get the opinions of the public on how they feel about themselves and to find out their own definitions of beauty and perfection. What do you think beautiful means? It means they're nice in a, in, a very, in a very, very nice way. What does perfection mean? Perfection means it's perfect, but it's just a different word for perfect. So perfect actually means that they're really, really nice or it's really, really nice. The Oxford Dictionary definition of beauty is a combination of qualities that pleases the aesthetic senses, especially sight. When I asked the public what they thought the definition of beauty was, many came back with being confident in yourself, being natural, or it's an eye of the beholder. In other words, we all have our different opinions of what is beautiful and what isn't. We each individually find different things attractive. I think beauty is uh, numerous different things. It can be a person, it can be a place, but... I think beauty comes in all shapes, sizes, you know, I don't think anybody's like better than anybody, um, but I think it's amazing that beauty can be different to all different people, like I can see something as beautiful but someone can see it, you know, different, I think that's quite incredible. The Oxford Dictionary definition of perfection is having all the required or desirable elements, qualities or characteristics as good as it possible can be. When I asked the public the same question, many answered being free from flaws, it doesn't exist or they were unsure. However, if we all have different perceptions of beauty, we would then also have different perceptions of perfection, as we all see things differently. We personally would not know until we've seen it. I kind of regard myself as a perfectionist, but I don't even know what that is. I think it's probably it's the, it's the, kind of the pursuit of the unattainable, really. And that's how people kind of drive themselves crazy trying to get uh, perfect, uh, but in human beings, I don't think that's. In fact, I think that people are kind of like perfect in their imperfections. I think that's what gives us all an individual character, which some people would maybe regard as flaws. Other people may see as like, well, that's genius or whatever. You know. Looking further into my study, I discovered a lot of people using apps such as Snapchat and Instagram feel under pressure to look skinnier or more tanned or more muscular due to the high selection of filters offered. They say that they rarely do not use filters across their photos as they simply do not feel pretty enough or good enough. Despite apps such as Snapchat and Instagram mainly being directed to use for social media, they also have an impact on people who use them. Yes, the filters are there to use for fun and play about with your photos. However, there are many people out there that are starting to feel pressured to use them as they do not feel comfortable just being themselves in front of the camera. Needless to say, I find myself using the dog filter a lot now often described as a basic bitch filter. From a personal view, although you may not realise, a good deal of you probably do not realise you use filters majority of the time and rarely post any photos of yourself au naturel. A Connect Fourth colleague, Emma Ald, spoke to Leah Shanks, the Huffington Post body confidence blogger, on her views. Why did you choose to blog about body image? Because it's so important and... It frustrates me every day that it's not talked about more and it's only seen as kind of like a, a trend, like a passing like a passing trend. It's it's not something that's seen as you know, we talk about mental health all the time, which is obviously really, really important, but we need to talk about body image because it is really linked to mental health. And 
self-esteem and self-love is comes into every factor of who we are as people and it's just not talked about widely enough so yeah I felt it was really important. And do you agree that social media is starting to influence us on the way we think and feel about ourselves? Absolutely, a million percent. I think that social media is so important. It's so... It's everywhere. You know, people, young people, they don't know a world without it. And it impacts on their lives every single day. Like, you know, you can't escape it. It's with you all the time. You're lying in bed, your notifications are going off. You literally cannot get away from it. So if you're seeing something that is impacting you in a negative way, then you're going to be seeing it all the time. And that is, yeah, that's scary. And do you think the ideal or supposed perfect body image has changed over the years? I do think it is changing. There's still a huge emphasis on being thin, but there is more of our kind of Kardashian-esque figure that's being pushed forward now in particular. There's, you know, we're, we're taught to want to have to be curvy in the right places we're not you know we're not um it's not all about the kind of statuesque model figure anymore it is about women having overly exaggerated curves in a lot of instances i do think and if you could tell people out there who are listening to this anything what would you say remember that everything you see around you is there for a reason and that reason is usually money um your insecurities were created by someone in order to generate profit so if you see something that makes you feel bad, think about why it makes you feel bad and how you can rebel against it because why should you feel bad um, just so that someone else can make money off of it? To me, that's not okay. That was something inspirational. Thank you for your time, Leah. As we can see, from also Leah's point of view, everyone needs to be confident in themselves. You are who you are and that cannot be changed. Everyone has different opinions of what is considered beautiful or perfect and you will tick a few of all someone's boxes out there, not everyone's. Thank you very much for listening. Connect Fourth Feature.